What's up everyone? It's the Everyday Dad. I hope you're having a great day today. I know I am because it's my favorite day of the week and that's Drone Flight Friday. So today we're gonna take out the drone. We meant to do this last week but we had that crash you probably saw here. Ding! And we're gonna test out the intelligent flight modes of the DJI Spark. Let's get to it. So what does intelligent flight actually mean? Well, when you're using drones of this generation, most of them come with the ability to have the drone fly itself for the purpose of getting better quality footage while reducing the skill of the pilot and also letting the pilot do other things without needing to focus solely on controlling the drone. On the DJI Spark, there are six separate flight modes. Normal, Quick Shot, Active Track, Tap Fly, Tripod, and Gesture. There's also one that's not on the screen, but included, if you have the controller, is the awesome sport mode. Each of these alters the flight characteristics of the drone and changes either the speed or the level of autonomy that the drone has. Normal mode is pretty self-explanatory. It's the normal mode of flight where nothing has changed and the drone's flight is in its standard speed. So it's not gonna go too fast, it's not gonna go too slow. It is the standard mode for the drone. Quick Shot Mode is a mode that initially was only available on the DJI Spark, but now is also included on the DJI Mavic Pro. Quick Shots are meant to be little 30 second clips that are supposed to be a quick, hence the name, way to use the drone to get some quick fun video and to share on social media. When I first got the drone, I didn't think much of them, but I've quickly come to rely on them a lot. The most basic of all drone maneuvers is the droney. It is by far, by far, my favorite quick shot and one of my favorite shots to get with the drone period. Intelligent flight mode or not, I love dronies. It is a basic terrain reveal shot that never ever gets old to me. When first released, the quick shot droney was not very good, actually it was garbage. But after multiple updates, it's become what it was initially supposed to be. Next up is the rocket. It's another very basic shot that goes to its target, sets its gimbal down to 90 degrees, and goes straight up. It's fun, it's really quick to do. The circle is a basic orbiting mode that I still think has some kinks to work out of it. It should complete one revolution of the subject and when it works it can actually turn out pretty well but I've had about a 50-50 success rate on the circle. Hands down the most complex of the quick shots is the helix. This is a shot that I actually don't think I could do with just a manual controller to such fine results. This mode is a combination of the droney, circle, and the rocket that keeps the subject in frame while flying up, away, and around. Next up in the active track arsenal is tap fly. This is a way to set the drone to fly to a specific spot that you indicate on the DJI GO 4 app. While it's flying, you can move the gimbal up and down, but that's it. Honestly, I rarely use this mode and think of it as only marginally useful. If you find use for this or any of these shots that I don't use as much, please leave a comment below. The next intelligent flight mode is the tripod mode. This limits the speed of the drone all around. It limits the gimbal speed, it limits the speed speed, it limits the slowdown speed, it limits the slowdown speed, it limits all the speeds. You might ask yourself, Ted, the everyday dad for those of you that are new, why would you want your drone to go slower? And really this mode is to make your flying camera to be as stable and smooth as possible to create some buttery smooth shots. Now we come to the most divisive of all the intelligent modes. Go on any forum or any page about the Spark and you'll see people arguing over this mode, and that is the gesture mode. I personally only use it to take off and land my Spark. I don't really like any of the other parts of this mode and consider them to be a gimmick, but in the spirit of showing you everything, you can operate the drone, I wouldn't recommend it, with only the drone. You can take off, move the drone, start recording, start active tracking, all by doing specific hand motions in front of the drone. As you can see, this doesn't work 100% of the time, and I've been flying this drone for about four months now. I'm yet to be sold on the actual use of the gesture controls, and we actually got pretty lucky today in that it worked much better than it has been working. Maybe that iOS 11 update that just came out last week actually is working. The final app-based mode is my favorite mode and really the reason I got a DJI drone in the first place and not some other brand, and that is Active Track. Basically, what ActiveTrack does is set the drone in a mode to follow you or your target automatically. When working properly, you should be able to set it to the desired height, angle, and be able to start the ActiveTrack and just let the drone act as a personal videographer. 
The thing I like about the Spark more than any other drone is that it is really easy to tell if the drone is following you before you start moving. When these lights are green, the drone is tracking you. If they aren't, it isn't, and you'll need to fix the problem before you start, but you know that ahead of time. It is so frustrating to set up a shot, put the controller or the phone away, and start to move and not have the drone follow you. This used to happen to me with my Mavic Pro all the time, and it, it just infuriated me. This way on the Spark, you can make sure it's working properly before you set your controller down. That leaves us with one more mode. It's not really an intelligent flight mode, but I would be seriously remiss without mentioning it, and that is the sport mode. There's not much to say about the sport mode other than it is so much fun. I cannot take this drone out without it doing at least a couple minutes on the sport mode. No, the Spark doesn't have the fastest sport mode of its family, but with how small it is, it certainly feels like the fastest, and it really transforms the drone into an angry hummingbird of awesome. It, I cannot get over how much fun it is. Seriously, the technology packed into these little things is amazing. I cannot believe the things that these drones can do when even just a couple years ago, these would have been, you know, considered almost magic. So I think we're at like the cusp of a golden age of drone technology, and that makes me very excited. Well, hey, if you like what you saw, click that subscribe button down below. We do drone videos every Friday, 12 p.m. Eastern. Also, the live stream that we would normally do this Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern has got to be moved up to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because the everyday wife and I are going out and doing a glow run or something. I guess we're going out and doing a run and getting a whole bunch of glitter or something thrown at us. Well, hey, I'm the everyday dad, and if I can figure out all the intelligent flight modes on this drone, you can figure it out. Thanks for watching.